Hello, I'm Zarina Akers. Come on in. Okay, so this is my living room. I am a home fanatic, so this is gonna be fun. I mean, I guess we could start with the, the obvious girl in the room. Uh, my Emmy, I won for best costume design for my work on Beyonce's Black is King. I, it's so funny when I got it, I, w I loved it kind of just like on the side table and all of my friends kept being like, I want to see the Emmy as soon as I walk in. So I was forced to kind of make it prominent. You know, so she has her home, her own little pedestal and hopefully I can make room for a lot more. <laughs> Yeah, so and this this photo actually was gifted to me. It's a part from a still from Black is King was gifted to me um, by Beyonce during the holidays. So, you know, they get to hang out together, you know. And this vase actually randomly someone sent me flowers in it and I thought the vase was just really cool. So I kept it. I liked how it looked sculptural. And I kind of found this like goldish brown warm unique color and I just I just tried it out and it worked and I fell in love with it and I, I think it'll probably be on the walls forever. Every room is a different color I like to walk through the space and have a different experience. I've just recently got this piece it's a print from um, Harmonia Rosales and it just is so stunning. It's a, it's a story of Mother Africa. This is a very special piece to me. Just being African American and always sort of being in search of, of my roots and, and discovering like indigenous religion and spirituality. So as soon as I saw it, I just, it had to be mine. And then this piece, I just literally hung it yesterday. Um, it's Chantel Wilkes, and I've just recently discovered her work, and I think it's just so, to me it's the vibe of the place. And it happens to match this one, Mother Africa, so I was lucky on that one. Yeah, you know, so when choosing art, um, I, I just find things that speak to me. If I have to see something every day, I want to, to live with things that inspire me. I like my space to be controlled. I like to control the scent when I walk in, the music, the vibes, you know? So I'm always either burning incense and my candle, black on everything. I actually developed this candle. You can find it on blackowneverything.co, but just fragrance in general in the home, like it just feels so inviting. My dining room, my hunter green dining room, I love. This actually was the first piece I bought. Solid wood, I like, I like old quality things. My house, I've, I never really felt the need to do a lot of renovations. I liked its character and its charm. But in terms of you know the art in this space, I always love to come back with pizzas when I travel. This um, was hand beaded by a woman in Johannesburg in South Africa. It's a nod to the Nabeli tribe. Yeah, so I like to collect, again, like things that remind me of those moments in time. We never know when we have to like, you know, be locked in the house for a bit. So it's good to be reminded of those things, you know? So this Hunter Green, so this was actually my first time painting and using a dark color. I love bright rooms, you know, so I took a risk doing this and I loved it. Like I thought it was, it was small enough you know, where it didn't overpower the space, but it could add a little bit of character. So when I tested it, I thought it looked super luxe, thought it kind of updated the space really well. The Hunter Green just felt so special. So, you know, so you see like the living room, we get the, the you know, the gold that kind of peeks through to the Hunter Green dining room, which leads us to our happy kitchen, my happy kitchen. Having a happy kitchen was very important to me. We start our day here. So what, like I had to go with the bright yellow, like sunshine, right? My plate wall, I just kind of started it. I was gifted a few 
So some of them I got in India and in South Africa. And I just want to kind of eventually fill up the entire wall. And, and, you know, so this is actually where I do my Zoom. So it's a good, it's a good background. So I thought these these like really soft, transparent blue curtains was, you know, just be really add to the space, you know, to the yellow. And then they actually kind of take us into the office, the blue of the office. So let's check that out. This room was a tricky one. This actually used to be a guest room. It had a full Moroccan theme. I ended up just turning it into a home office. But what was kind of challenging was to find the right blue. I ended up going with blue 18 because it just, I don't know, it, it gave me just enough energy. It was really energetic, I think, to, to really kind of motivate me to work. It's an unexpected color, I think, in the house. Everything, you know, really plays well with it. I mean, the colors, I think, just in general, in every room, really serve as a nice base. I think this one, was probably one of the most unexpected colors that is a little bit of a surprise in the house. Provides a perfect, the perfect canvas for the room. Okay, so this is my guest bedroom slash my escape room. I I went with Stripe So 3 in here. I just wanted, with every other room being so bright in the house, I thought it would just be a nice escape and it was very inviting and very fresh, you know. I liked the pops of colors and I liked the mix of it. I think, you know, a lot of people tend to be afraid of stripes, you know, so I thought this was like a fresh way to do it. It's gotten really great feedback so far from guests, so I'm really proud of that. Okay, so I think this may be one of my favorite rooms in the house. <laughs> my bathroom. The funny thing is, my house is, is the Ranchito style house. So it was built in 1951. So it came with this original pink tile and I actually pulled the flooring up. It was like linoleum tile. Cause I, I just imagined that there would be these beautiful pink tiles underneath. And there was, they just weren't so beautiful. Uh, so I ended up having to, to redo the floors in here, which I'm really happy with. I actually spent forever trying to find the right pink or the right sort of color to match or kind of coordinate with. I mean, I painted this thing, like I'd say probably four times um, and finally landed on pink 09. I was so happy. Just finding the right paint that like worked with the texture of the wood was really important. Um, I kept coming across colors that just really didn't translate. But this one I, I think just found, you know, a right, the good balance. I mean, we can't come in this room without talking about the, you know, the wallpaper choice. I thought the teal kind of bounced well from the pink and it just brought my love of flowers and, and nature like into one space. All right, speaking of pink, oh, where the magic really happens, baby, okay? This is very exclusive. I almost never show my bedroom. It's a Gucci wallpaper, but the funny thing is, I actually bought this wallpaper to go in the bathroom and ended up buying too much. So I thought, why not have the girly bedroom of every girl's dreams? This wallpaper, it's so decadent and fabulous. I just I thought it was just so over the top with all the cranes up to the ceiling. It's like, I mean, it's insane. So this dresser, I mean, it took me a while to even agree and convince myself to buy a dresser because my grandmother, she's one of few that knows, like, I'm a messy girl. And having surfaces like this, it's just gonna, it's just ended up being a mess. But I needed a place to put my clothes. What I loved about it, it had like these really deep drawers, you know, and I just wanted something kind of deep and where I could really grow into. I didn't maximize the space out. It has nine huge drawers, so I mean, it really was about function, but it's also just really beautiful and really special. So, you know, so even like, um, even here, you know, taking the, 
the round mirror, but perfectly positioning it where you still sort of see the cranes peeking out around it. Like I could easily hang these pictures and I think it would create the same space, but I decided to lay them all here. Um, not a narcissist, trust me. Like I have an artist friend that painted all these big, beautiful pictures of me. So, you know, in an effort to not have a bunch of pictures of myself around the house, they're all just like centralized in the bedroom. All right, thanks so much for coming to my home. I'm Zarina Akers. It's been such a pleasure to have you here and see you next time.